Kein Kaffee, ne? Und so gereicht. Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another Head Heart and Hills video. Um, today we're back up in the Northern Lake District um, and we are back in Little Town. Um, I don't know if you remember a few videos back, me and Amy walked um, by Cat Bells and we kind of walked around and then down past Dale Head and then back through Little Town and did a big loop. Um, well, this time we're back at the same sort of place, but Amy wants to go and do a further walk on uh, a mountain called Robinson. So, what we're doing today is basically leaving Little Town and we're going to walk down. Um, this road and basically walk up that mountain which leads you round to Robinson and then we're going to come back round to Hines Scarth hopefully pronounce that properly and then basically back down through that waterfall at Dale Head and then back into Little Town and just do a nice big loop it's uh, about a nine mile loop um, so you know should take us about what four and a half hours or so and again really lucky um, end of September weather's on our side it's absolutely beautiful not a sight of rain in the sky but yeah so uh hope you enjoy this walk let's go let's crack on come past this lovely house up here in the middle of nowhere at the end of this track it's absolutely lovely um looks like it's owned by an artist called kim uh, tilber um she's got some work down in keswick in one of the shops down in keswick um but yeah i mean what a lovely place she lives like literally just at the end of this track up into the trees and into the valley and then you've got all this Lovely scenery on your doorstep. What I wouldn't give to live somewhere like this and be far away from. Oh, fell over. Watch what I'm doing. Be far away from the hustle and bustle of normal day-to-day -day life. Working in cities. Yeah, it's about this on your doorstep. Walking up the valley now, up to Robinson, which is there, up there. In the distance there, you can see Blencathra, the one with a little pointy sort of thing on the on the right hand side, and then just here, behind these ferns, that's Skidor, um, which is where we walked last time, and the weather was horrendous. But yeah, it's not today. Stunning. So we're on the ascent up to uh, Robinson now, which I was going to film with a couple of alternate shots as I normally do. Basically, we were following the path that took us up there, but actually, we really needed to go up there. Um, so we decided to cut up this. That's my camera, pretty much level to the hill. I don't know if it kind of shows you how how steep that actually is but it's a it is a beast onwards and upwards so we got to top of that scramble and it was just down here. Now a bit of a scrambly climb up to the top of Robinson. You can see Keswick in the distance still. The views are amazing today. Absolutely wonderful. So I've reached a bit of a, a scramble up that now there is a route down there that you can follow around at least where Amy and her dad have gone um, but because I'm stupid I quite fancied having a go so we're going to put you on the shoulder mount thing 
can keep it going, let's go. I don't know why I do this. On the final sort of ascent up to the top of Robinson now. Um, we haven't actually come that far really. Um, I think we've only actually walked about three miles. Two miles we've walked. It's actually not that far, but look at those views, guys. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely stunning. Can't believe how lucky I've been again with the weather for uh, the last day of summer, actually, I believe, in the UK. Perfect day for a climb before the autumn weather kicks in we have to get uh, the rain gear out yeah incredible we're at the top of Robinson now and uh, we retreat to some absolutely stunning views, let me give you a look. So over there we've got the coast, you can see over there. And then down here, there's the bottom here. Basically just follow it round. Over there it's called Dodd I believe, and I believe over, well over there will be Scar where Scarfell is. And I think over there is where Great Gable is. And just where Amy and her dad are now to the right, is just down in that valley is uh, Honest Slate Mine. And the, uh, Valley. It's so basically over there, that mountain there, this one here, that is uh, Dale Head and that is Hind Scarf over there where we're going to walk. So basically we're going to drop down from this path, down and around and then up over and then back down. But I mean, these views are stunning, there's Skidora over there in the distance, Blencafra. Um, I think that's called Grisdale Pike, that one, which I have walked before, or maybe that's Grisdale Pike just there, but on the other side of that, is where Winlatter Forest is. I'm not sure what this one's called, but like when you basically when you're low and you're down at the bottom, sometimes you just don't know what is actually up here and like how easy or not easy but how accessible it actually looks. But, like now just up here it's just absolutely amazing and I think next time we do Winlatter I might even just walk all the way along, find out what that ridge is called. I'll find out and put it in the bottom of the video here, but we'll find out what the ridge is called and just walk. I mean, I know, I know all this stuff's here, and, but I just never, we never do it, and I don't know why. I don't know why, but I think we'll be definitely coming back up here and doing it. But yeah, Tough Robinson, let's go get something to eat. Right. Ham and salad sandwich while eating, looking out over Dale Head. So I suppose it's time for today's dirty hiking snack. So here we go. Here's the, uh, the end result. It's a chocolate and cherry flapjack um, made by Amy. People both had a piece. Both have thoroughly enjoyed it. So give it a taste. I mean, I can't say that's horrible because it's just full of sugar and oats. It's actually beautiful. Definitely what was needed. <laughs> oh, that's really good. I'm not even finished, I'm going to go back. Mm. I got the end bit as well, so it's a bit crunchy. But yeah, it's really good. Um, I was outvoted on the uh, return route options now. We're not going to go to the behind the scar um, part of the walk. Um, because they didn't want to walk up and walk along and end up back on themselves so they go back to that dale head and um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to follow the path around and instead of cutting left to go up behind scarf we're just going to go straight up and over dale head down the other side and down through the waterfall that you saw between uh, dale head and high spy in the previous video yeah so let's uh, let's crack on with the walk let's burn off that flapjack So 
So we would have been going up this path here, up to Hindscarth, which is the top of there. But the guys just want to go straight up and over to Dale Head. Um, yeah, I basically lost that battle. Oh well. Still be a lovely day. Save a few steps, get us back down to the pub quicker. This is the, the ascent up to Dale Head now. It's a bit steep, very scree with all the slate. So I'm going to take this off Amy now so she can concentrate on walking and not filming me because it is quite steep, very loose. But yeah, we're almost at the top. We're almost at the top of Dale Head now. I'm scrambling this little bit here reminds me of that something like Rohan or something out of Lord of the Rings. It's pretty spectacular. Like yeah, we're nearly at the top of Dale Head. It's quite a flat plateau. Although it's probably still a good view. I just felt like I needed to stop and show you guys this. This is pretty incredible. So that's Robinson over there in the distance where we just came from. And we walked up to the other side of this mountain into that valley over there. I'm sure if you remember from the last video that's where little town is. And this is the path from Cat Bells over there in the distance. You walk over along over here. And there's High Spy over there. Uh, yeah that's High Spy there I believe. And then drops down here into the valley and then comes up here and there's the summit of Dale Head. I don't know if you can see those people on the top. Um, yeah the view's gonna be amazing but I just saw these and I thought I had to stop and show you. It'd be incredible. I mean it's no, uh, it's no disgusting view on the other side either. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely fantastic. The Langdales, Great Gable, Scarfell, all over there. Amazing. That's why I do this, to share these views with you. Come out myself. Just... There are no words. There are no, honestly, there are no words. I'm not just saying that. Generally, genuinely, there are no words other than it's absolutely bloody fantastic get up here recommend it so there we go guys the top of the hill there the uh, can sort of made up there the point to mark the top we got the views down into the valley where we're about to head. We're just going to drop down here now and you'll see Dale Head Tarn like you did in the last video. One of the best peaks I think me and Amy have ever walked up. It's just been absolutely stunning. Everything. Everything's just massive. Puts it into all into perspective. Yeah, just stunning. Helvellyn over there. Yeah, so down we go. Quite steep these steps. Oh, we're nearly there. There's Dale Head Town, just there. And then we're going to walk through that and then that's where the waterfall starts in the valley. I'm going to drop down in there. Not far now. We're just there. Uh, Coming down from Dale Head Town, we stopped there for five minutes. A bit of a chill. I was heading back down through the valley. And I've got High Spy on my right, and uh, Dale Head's just up there. We just come off top of there, basically. Um, we walked all the way down there. That was quite a steep climb. It was uh, 
felt like it took longer to climb down than it did to actually get up. <laughs> it's been a lovely day so far, no complaints, absolutely fantastic. I'm just waiting for that waterfall a bit further down and I'm going to put my feet in there and cool them off because I am roasting. Oh yes. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I think there's a jet. Very eerie in the valley. We were a bit too low to actually see that. We would have been able to see that if we were stuck there, that's a shame. Basically, the valley is the late district, the perfect for the RAF to do basically training run through. And the weather's like this, and there's not, not really that much of a breeze or rain. They basically just come flying through the bloody the valleys and jets and stuff. It's absolutely incredible. There's a couple of times we were in Grasmere and uh, me and Emmy were walking and a big old Lancaster bamboo was just so low and it just flew straight through the valley over Grasmere. Making the ground shake, it was, it was impressive. Here we are back at the waterfall again. Not as uh, torrential as it was last time, if it had been a rain last, my last time. You can actually see the little cave there where it, where it was actually covered over last time. But yeah, I think we're gonna I might put my feet in, a little paddle. basically halfway down now come down the, uh, the the main valley back from the top of Dale Head and hit the waterfall and I thought this would be a great place to, to do the sign off um, so if you've seen the video previous video there's not much to sort of see from now on really it's basically uh, a couple of little fields and then straight back into little town and then back in the car but I just want to say thank you again for um, taking the time to watch the video um, don't feel obliged to it's not you know you don't have to but if you want to subscribe to the channel please do hit the uh, little face in the bottom right hand corner uh, and if you want to get notifications for when the next video does go live, just hit the bell. I uh, appreciate all that. Um, and yeah, drop all the comments down the bottom. Um, I appreciate all your comments there as well. And I try and get back to them many of you as I possibly can. Um, yeah, that's about it really. I just want to say thanks again for, for joining me on this trip. And if you do feel like you need to sort of get out and, you know, um, sort of clear, clear your head a little bit, um, then getting out and doing stuff like this is definitely something that you should consider doing. Um, it's helped me um, no end. I'm um, just dealing with sort of anxiety, stress, and depression, and getting out. Um, as I'm sure many of you are aware, like the hardest thing is actually getting out of bed in the morning. But once you're kind of here and doing some of this stuff, like it just it just clears everything. It, I mean, it does for me. I mean, it might not work for everybody, but you know, um, yeah. Why does he cry? Caught in a web. Soon he'll be eaten.